Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man, and as always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. And today I'm going to do another special short video. I've learned a lot over the years from my mentors, my dad, rest in peace, my big brothers, people in the neighborhood that looked out for all the little guys. And my father said something that was really interesting when I was a young man, or actually a teenager or a kid at the time. He said, a lot to be learned from people when you watch how they take care of their stuff. And what I mean by that is the, the, the materialistic things, you know, the, the TVs, the cars, the clothes, the house. Because here's the interesting story that I share with you when I was growing up. I had a guy that lived on my block down the street and we were good friends and we would swap records, albums. So, you know, I let him borrow one of my albums. So about three days later, I came back down to get my album. And when I came to his house, my album cover sleeve was on the floor. The album was somewhere on the table. And when I looked down, there was a footprint on the album cover. I'm like, OK, you know, that said a lot right there. It's like no more borrowing lending. You know, you can't even take care of my stuff. You know, you're supposed to take care of other people's stuff just as good or better than yours. You know, so throughout my life, I've noticed this because every stitch of music equipment I've ever bought brand new and I actually even bought used was in excellent condition when I got rid of it because most of us believe initially that we're going to keep this particular guitar until we die and this sound module or this piano or these drums or the bass and most likely within five years those items will be gone and you didn't bought something else. You know, uh, I would like to say that I'm probably going to keep my telly till I die but mo most likely I probably won't, you know, but I've taken care of it because it's, it's, it's really important that when you sell your gear it's in good condition. Nobody wants to buy some worn out junk. You know, uh, I had bought about a year ago a sound module, the Korg 03W, because I got another one that looks brand new. I just bought that about two months ago. Actually, about, about a month ago. And, and it was hard to find this particular unit. So, and it was priced good. So the guy said, it's in good condition. And I'm looking at the pictures on, the, on, on, on eBay, and it's like, well, it's not in great condition, but it's not destroyed at least it don't look like it from the pictures so when it came it looked like somebody had literally set this unit outside i can tell it had been around water because it was rusting i'm like i've never seen a sound module with rust on it and it, they shouldn't have rust on them they should be kept in the house even when you're touring and, and, and you know uh, throughout the country you still keep your units in a rack case and keep them clean from a, in a warm a clean environment not a moist environment so it was rusty on the top. The, the volume knob was real shaky to the, extent, to, ex, to the extent that I'm thinking if I use this enough, it's going to break or fall off. So I told the guy, I said, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with the condition this, this is in. It's like uh, this thing probably going to break on me in a couple of months. Well, you know, OK, I understand. And he was quite uh, accommodating. He said, you know, OK, send it back and I'll refund your money, which I did. And I'm saying to myself, how can this unit or piece of music equipment experienced so much neglect, but it did, you know, and it says a lot about people that don't take care of their stuff. Because again, when I sell my stuff, it's, it's in pristine condition and then people get a good price. Because when I sold, you know, some stuff on eBay and it was nice of this guy to say, uh, wow, I got it. Not only I got a good deal on this item from the buy seller. Also, it was better than described. Because when he actually got it, he was like, whoa, you know, there's not a mark, a dent on this thing. It's not rusty. This, all of the, the knobs work. Because I look on eBay and I see people selling stuff, the knob missing. It's like, how did the, mop, the knob go away? You know, unless you got some kids in your house that you're not taking, not watching, it's like, you should do a better job of taking care of your stuff. But that says a lot about people that don't take care of their stuff, you know. So on that note, I'm going to sign off. But I just thought this video would be helpful as far as. When you buy expensive equipment, not even even if it's not expensive, take care of it. You know, don't drop it. Don't scratch it up. Don't leave it outside. Don't leave it in the garage. Keep it in a clean environment because at some point in time, you're going to have to turn around and sell it. And you can get rid of it much quicker when it's in excellent condition for a good price than something that looks like it's been left up under somebody's porch and it's rusty, got dents on it, and it's half working. You know, so I just thought that I would post this video, you know, to make it helpful. To, to you know to, to everybody till next time take care thanks for watching